Okay, everybody, here's a small demonstration of the uh, turrets that I changed out. The top one here is using a 360 degree continuous servo, find the right switch here, that I can control how far it goes. It'll go completely around in both directions and at different speeds. The more I give it, the faster it goes. And, of course, it's mixed with the thing, with the elevators and the other controls, or rudders, I mean. And then on this one, I've done 270 degree servo with it to give me 180 degrees. I can actually get more, but I've adjusted the throw so it won't go past 180 degrees. But <clears throat> Metal Gear 9G servos, this is actually a 180 degree servo that actually gives 220 degrees full rotation. Same servo that I will be using on my Bombay door mod. And then, let's see here. There it is. Yeah. Then when I, uh, that's with the rudder stick. Whenever I give rudder input, it does that. And... I've also got the same thing. Let me scoot this airplane down a little bit here since I'm in my bedroom doing this. The same thing is on the back turret on the servo on the back turret that I modified to move, but I'm only using a standard servo for it. So there's only there's only 30 degrees, 70 degrees, 30 degrees of travel in either direction for it. D didn't need much more than that. So anyway, all three servos turn and mix plus I have them on the slider switches I can manually control them I'm trying to remember where this one's at well that's right the back one I just have strictly mixed with the with the rudder on a, on a Y cable or actually on the steering I've also done my light light mods the blue formation lights that are actually on the running off of the sequencer and a free wing sequencer so that when the gear comes down the lights come on but when the gear goes up on the delay the top navigation lights go off and the white blinking blinking uh <coughs> beacon recognition beacon i think is what they called it and then here let me pivot this around and then on the bottom this is one of the light boards from the p38 though i had to modify it and use it actually the only these two lights are the only ones that are on it this guy is running independent with a wire on the outside because red draws so much power but uh, these are the uh <coughs> another part of the recognition lights amber red and green like they're supposed to be had trouble finding an amber light but the uh voltage source are different for the red and green than it is for the red so I have the red just in place and uh, the yellow and green are on the other thing it took me all day today to kind of figure out the voltage requirements for that and then just foam tack to the bottom of the airplane and I can actually put that one on the retract switch as well so that it goes off when the gear is up kind of open this up for you Give you guys a better clue of what I was talking about here. See, I'm just using one of the Freewing V3 controllers, and right now I have it in, have it plugged in into one of the steady lights. And this this back one right here is actually blue lights. And then I've got it coming up through the Bombay with some X with a triple uh, Y triple, so that I can plug in some other things that I've been playing around with. This is the 360 degree servo. I've got foam blocks around it to kind of hold it in place. That's where the tiller arm used to be. And that's foam tack in there. And this little guy is just mounted right directly to it. I glued the servo horn to the bottom of the foam turret. You can see where I made a hole in there so that I can actually take this off like it was a, like it was though it was a servo arm. Did the same thing on the nose. 
and that's how I did that. I just bypassed the tiller arms on the back. Same way, except let me flip this over here, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. On the bottom, it's a little shallow here for the 9G servo. It started to poke through just a little bit on the bottom. You had to make a hole here, and then I've covered it up with tape, aluminum tape, to hide it because the, the edge of the servo comes real close to the skin here. So a little area right here because the servo is sitting right here uh, to make that mod. But anyway, very easy to make. One thing I didn't do was be able to rig it in for the guns to go up and down, but I'm still waiting for my 3D printed parts to show up. Then I'll deal, detail out all of these turrets and may work on a situation where the guns will actually pivot up and down. Kind of like what I did with my top flight B-25. I put them on a, on a camber or actually <clears throat> on like a rocker arm situation so that when they turn, the guns will actually bounce up and down like it was going over a rocker arm. <clears throat> but there's what I've got done to my B-24 so far. Haven't decided whether or not I'm going to paint the tails this leave this red on here which I kind of like for visibility but uh, for the airplane that I'm doing mail call which was Jimmy Stewart's airplane when he was a uh, I believe a captain in the US Army Air Corps the actor Jimmy Stewart the plane that he flew one of the planes he flew because he was a b-24 pilot these are actually black instead of red it's got the same white stripe and it has the G plus in it but this should be flat black or OD green and of course, the the red nacelles on the uh, the red on the nacelles would be just the normal green. But I think I'm just going to cheat it and leave it red because I like the visibility it's going to present in the air. Even though I did contemplate painting them yellow, a golden yellow, to match all the other yellow on the airplane. Same thing with the nacelles. So anyway, later ideas. Still got a few things to do. Tired Iron posted up some really nice pictures. To decorate the back here, kind of like what I had done with the uh, B LX B25 and stuff like that later. But I'm looking forward to getting his prints downloaded and detailing that out. Thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate it. But anyway, there's the light mod. I also have the lights on the wings done as well. Oops, let me bring one of them over here. Same thing. The P38 wingtip lights. I routed in here and I just used the panel line, scored it, routed the routed the wire that goes all the way out here. The plug actually ends right here underneath this. And then I ran a servo extension lead all the way out. You can see it right here. But I changed down to a two-pin lead. Anyway, so it's plugged in right there. And that'll plug into that same light controller. Then I'll have red and green that shows on both top and bottom navigation lights. I still need to paint around them a little bit here, but anyway, there you go. Hope you guys like it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.